If you have been watching the infrastructure side of crypto rather than just price charts, the first few days of 2026 have already delivered plenty to think about. Developer activity, on-chain tools, exchange behavior, and cross-chain DeFi are all moving at once and some of the signals are harder to ignore than others. Before we get into today's stories, a quick nod, Ledger Life is fully independent and if you find value in the work we do here, you can support the channel through donations. It helps keep the research going, the reporting honest and the focus on substance rather than hype. You will find all the donation details in the description below. In this video, we are breaking down four stories shaping the conversation right now. The internet computer passing a major network milestone. Kinnick opening up tooling aimed at trustless AI agents, a sudden spike in ICP holdings on a major exchange, and lastly, Cardano users gaining access to fully on-chain swaps through Menace. Each story on its own is interesting. Together, they point to a broader shift in how blockchains are being used, built on, and interacted with. Let's start with the milestone that's caught a lot of attention. The internet computer has crossed 1 million canisters just days into 2026. For anyone new to the ecosystem, canisters are not tokens or NFTs. They are autonomous software units that bundle code and state together and run decentralized applications directly on the network. Each canister manages its own computation and memory, which means they function more like self-contained cloud services than traditional smart contracts. What makes this moment notable is the pace. More than 10,000 new canisters were added in the first five days of January alone. That level of deployment suggests consistent developer activity rather than a one-off spike. It also raises questions about how large the network could realistically become over the course of the year. The internet computer is designed to scale by adding more subnets and nodes as demand increases. Each subnet can host additional canisters, allowing applications to expand without competing for the same limited block space. From a technical standpoint, growth is not constrained in the same way it is on networks where every application shares a single execution layer. That said, raw numbers never tell the full story. Launching a canister is one thing. Maintaining it, securing it, and attracting real usage is another. As networks grow, complexity increases. Monitoring performance, patching vulnerabilities, and ensuring reliability across thousands of applications becomes a serious operational challenge. Some analysts have been quick to point out that canister count alone does not equal adoption. A network can host hundreds of thousands of applications that never gain users. The real test is whether developers are building tools and services that people return to consistently. Still, the early momentum is difficult to dismiss. Developer interest appears strong and the architecture does allow for large-scale applications that would struggle on more constrained blockchains. Whether the network approaches 2 million canisters by the end of the year will depend less on speculation and more on whether these projects stick around and stay active. The second story takes us from infrastructure to tooling and from decentralized apps to decentralized AI. Kinnick has announced that its command line interface tool is now open source. The code has been made available through a GitHub pull request and developers are being invited to contribute directly. This move is aimed squarely at teams building trustless AI agents, especially those working with emerging standards like X402 and ERC8004. At the core of Kinnick's approach is a decentralized memory layer that runs on the internet computer. Instead of storing user context in centralized databases or opaque cloud services, the system uses zero-knowledge machine learning techniques to create tamper-resistant memory. Emails, notes, and personal data can be referenced by AI models without exposing the raw information itself. The idea is simple but ambitious. Give users ownership over their data, while still allowing that data to improve how AI systems behave. 
Rather than feeding sensitive material into external models, memory proofs can be verified cryptographically, keeping control in the hands of the individual. The open source update also includes integration with internet identity login and support for biometric authentication. According to the project, this strengthens the security of memory proofs by tying them directly to verified user identities. For developers building autonomous agents that rely on personal context, this combination of identity and storage is meant to reduce friction and improve trust. Making the CLI open source changes the dynamic of the project. It allows developers to inspect the card, test assumptions, and propose improvements. In early stage standards like X402 and ERC8004, this kind of scrutiny is often where practical use cases emerge. Early feedback from contributors has focused on how tamper-proof memory could improve privacy for AI agents that operate over long periods of time. If an agent can verify context without exposing it, the risk of data leakage drops significantly. Of course, there are trade-offs. Running storage and computation on-chain can introduce performance and cost considerations, depending on how efficiently applications are designed. Supporters argue that the benefits of verifiability and independence outweigh these concerns. Critics remain cautious, especially when comparing decentralized execution to traditional cloud infrastructure. Either way, open sourcing the tool signals our willingness to build in public. Whether that translates into broader adoption will depend on how actively the community engages and how well the standards mature over the coming months. The third story brings market behavior into the picture. On January 1st, nearly 3 million ICP tokens were added to OKX in a single day. Data shared by ICP Terminal shows this as one of the largest daily inflows of ICP to the exchange. What's driving it is not entirely clear. Analysts have floated several possibilities, ranging from anticipation of trading activity to preparation for staking or broader confidence in the ecosystem. Exchange inflows can mean different things depending on context, and they don't always point in the same direction. The internet computer positions itself as a platform for on-chain cloud computing, rather than just token transfers or simple smart contracts. Applications can run fully on the network, handling data, computation, and verification without relying on external servers. Supporters see this as a meaningful distinction, especially as demand grows for decentralized alternatives to traditional infrastructure. Some community members believe the timing of the inflows aligns with renewed discussion around upcoming projects, including Caffeine AI. That project aims to let users build applications directly on-chain through natural language prompts, lowering the barrier to entry for non-technical creators. Still, experienced observers urge caution. A single day of exchange activity does not establish a long-term trend. Tokens move onto exchanges for many reasons, including liquidity management and short-term trading strategies. Higher balances can sometimes indicate increased selling pressure just as easily as confidence. Others point out that rising exchange holdings can simply reflect preparation for participation, whether that's swapping, staking, or interacting with decentralized applications that require liquidity. What is clear is that the activity has sparked conversation. Social channels have been active, with discussions focusing on ICP's ability to support complex applications at scale. Increased visibility often brings more developers into the ecosystem, which can feed back into the network growth over time. As always, the relationship between technical progress and token dynamics remains complex. The coming months should provide more clarity on whether this surge was a short-term event or part of a broader shift. The final story moves beyond ICP and into cross-chain decentralized finance. Cardano holders can now swap tokens directly on-chain using the Menace protocol, following its integration with MinSwap DEX. The update enables fully non-custodial trading with one-click execution, removing the need to juggle multiple wallets or interfaces. 
Menis already supports Ethereum and Solana, and the addition of Cardano extends its multi-network approach. Both the front-end and back-end of the swap process execute directly on-chain, with HTTP outcalls secured by the internet computer. For users, that means fewer intermediaries and greater control over assets. One of the long-standing barriers to DeFi adoption has been complexity. Non-custodial tools often require technical knowledge that discourages newer users. By simplifying the experience while keeping custody in the user's hands, Menis reduces friction without sacrificing decentralization. Industry watchers see this as part of a wider trend. Protocols are increasingly focused on combining strong security guarantees with interfaces that feel intuitive. And cross-chain access is becoming a baseline expectation rather than a novelty. For Cardano, the integration opens up new opportunities for liquidity providers and developers. As more assets become tradable through non-custodial means, the ecosystem can grow without relying on centralized gateways. Menis expansion highlights how decentralized finance continues to evolve from experimental tooling into something more practical. Users want transparency and control, but they also want simplicity. Protocols that can balance those demands are likely to shape the next phase of adoption. Taken together, these four stories paint a picture of an ecosystem that's maturing in multiple directions at once. Infrastructure is scaling, tools are opening up, market participation is shifting, and user experience in DeFi is improving. None of this guarantees success, growth brings new challenges, and not every experiment will work. But this but the pace and diversity of development suggests that blockchain technology is being pushed beyond its early constraints. As always, Ledger Life will keep tracking what matters beneath the surface. If you found this breakdown useful, make sure to support the channel, share it with others who care about where the space is heading, and check the links in the description for more details on the projects mentioned. Until next time, stay curious and keep questioning the infrastructure behind the headlines.